Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Thailand. I can't believe I'm saying that right now. I wanted to go here for so long and I'm finally here and it's absolutely stunning. But before I ramble, let's just start with a coherent introduction. So I got here last night. Today is the 4th of September. I got here when it was quite dark and I didn't really want to film anything so I just kind of went to bed although I didn't sleep the best because of jet lag so I just figured that I would show you stuff now and introduce the vlog now. This hotel is very noisy so I don't know how well this introduction is going to go. I'm on a group tour here in Thailand but I'm the first one to arrive and essentially I'm by myself because I don't know anyone else. So they're all arriving tonight and we're all having dinner tonight so I'm not sure how much of the rest of the video we'll be talking. I might do a voiceover once I'm home or I might just do a little music montage so you just have to wait and see but i'm in bangkok right now we're staying in bangkok for another night and then we're going up to the north like i said we're going up to i can't see any of the places but it's like the old capital and we're going up to chiang mai and pai and we're going to see some of the jungle and elephant sanctuaries and stuff like that so i just thought that i would introduce you and tell you what i'm up to while i've got the chance and there's no one else in the room with me so yeah that's all I think I've got to say right now. I'm going to do a quick room tour and then I'll just get on with it. I don't have any plans for today. I'm just going to walk out of the hotel, try and get a sim and see what's round about. So this is a view when you walk into the room. There's a wardrobe there which I won't be using and then the bathroom is in here. It just looks like this. There's a little shower on the wall, sink and a toilet. So essentially it's kind of a bit like a shower room because there's no walls around the shower. But I had a shower this morning and it was quite pleasant. So that will be the other girl's bed when she arrives. I slept in this one last night, as you can tell. My stuff is on the floor. I have tidied up a bit though. And I've just got some more stuff here, my laundry down there. And there is a table and chairs. And I woke up this morning to find this little guy on the bed, on the chair beside my bed and my laundry is down there so I'm really hoping that he doesn't crawl into that and then I pick it up later so I might move my laundry actually because I just want to leave him alone and for him to leave me alone. Got a bunch of stuff there and then I will show you the view which isn't the best but I'm really pleased with it. It's got this grid obviously some more skyscrapers and you can see the top of everyone's buildings and then my favourite bit is the trees and the lushness down there. Just love it so much. I opened the curtains this morning and all the birds were singing and it was lovely. So I can't wait to go outside and explore. Hi guys, Anna from the future here. So basically I've decided to do a voiceover and I headed out from the hotel to pick up my sim like I said and went out to the Grand Palace in Bangkok and then after that I headed over to Wat Po which was quite near to the Grand Palace so that's what I did on my first day and then we went as a group after in the evening and went for some drinks on Koh San Road second day we headed out towards Kanchanaburi, I probably butchered that, I'm sorry, to go and see the floating markets and then we went over to see the River Kwai where there is obviously a bridge on the River Kwai and we saw the Jeff Museum and learned all about the atrocities that happened there and we took a little boat ride down the river as well and then just went for some dinner that evening and that was what we did that day.
And then the next day we travelled to Erewhon Waterfalls and climbed up it. I didn't manage to get to the top because I'm severely unfit, but it was very pretty all the same. And then the day after that, we travelled out towards Ayutthaya. I think that's how you say it. I'm really sorry if I'm saying anything wrong. But basically, we went out towards here and we took a bike tour of the city and went to all the different temples within the city because it used to be one of the capital cities, I believe, in the country. And then that night, we just headed towards the train to get the overnight train to go to Chiang Mai. Then the next morning when we woke up in Chiang Mai, we checked into our hotel and we went over to a temple on the mountainside, which was so pretty and the views were absolutely incredible. And the day after this we left the hotel early and we basically started our jungle trek which took about five hours. We travelled through the jungle and at the top we stayed overnight at this jungle hill tribe which there was only about 45 people in that came from two families and it was really interesting to stay in that sort of environment overnight. It was definitely hard work to get to the top but definitely worth it. We also went to one of the waterfalls in the jungle and had a little swim. And then here is a little snippet from the bonfire when we were all out listening to some music and the insects of the night before we went in for our sleep. So the next day we left the jungle and we did some bamboo rafting which I did not film because I didn't want to get anything wet. But we went back to Chiang Mai. We also spent one of the days doing some zip lining, but I obviously didn't film that either because that would have been absolutely disastrous. And then we went to the Chiang Mai Elephant Home Sanctuary to see some of the elephants and they do not chain them up or anything or ride them, which I thought was absolutely brilliant and they were just the most amazing animals and we got to wash them in the river and feed them. It was definitely one of the highlights of my trip. Then after seeing the elephants, we took our car journey up towards Pai. And then 
when we were in Pai, we went to visit some hot springs, which was really cool. It felt like you were just in a massive bath. We also went to see the Lord Cave and Bamboo Rafted to get inside the cave which I thought was really cool and saw lots of stalagmites and stalactites but I couldn't film much in here because obviously it was so dark. And then we went to see the White Buddha Temple on the hill which was so cool and the views were incredible. We also went to see Pai Canyon, but I don't have any footage from that because I think I was too scared to take my camera out. And then we went to the markets in the rain. We also went to a Chinese village one of the days and chilled by the pool and then left the Pai to go back to Chiang Mai for a cooking class. And then we went to the Pai Grand Canyon Inflatable Water Park, which was really cool as well. 